So when it comes to strokes, the important thing that we have to consider is how we're actually holding on to our paddle. This is a bent shaft paddle, which means that it's got spots where it's kind of natural for my hands to fit into. Some people paddle with straight shaft paddles as well. Um, either way, the important thing to consider is that you've got even spacing on either side of your paddle shaft. Personally, for me, if I'm using a straight shaft paddle, I like to be a little bit choked up. So some folks say that like, if you put the paddle on your head right in the middle, you want it, your elbows at 90 degrees. That works for some people. For me, I know that I like it a little bit narrower. On this bench shaft paddle, I'm basically holding right on to the bends in the shaft. Sometimes I find myself choking up just a little bit, but the most important thing is that it's evenly spaced between one hand and a blade and the other hand and the other blade. So when we're doing our sweep stroke, it's important to remember that we want to have a horizontal paddle. So when we're reaching in at our toes, we also want to make sure that this paddle shaft is as parallel with the water as possible. What's most important is that we get all of the blade sunken into the water, but then next thing would be keeping that low paddle angle so that we can reach nice and far out and away from our boat. For your forward stroke, you wanna have a more vertical paddle angle. The vertical paddle angle will translate to more forward momentum. And when you're thinking about the difference between a forward stroke and a sweep stroke, generally speaking, the forward stroke is just close to the boat with a vertical paddle angle where you stop at your hips. The sweep stroke has a horizontal paddle angle where you're going away from the boat and going all the way back to the stern. A combination of either of those totally works. Depending on what you need in any given time or place, you can modify one way or modify the other way to get the exact stroke for what you need. But the important thing is to know what the differences are. Vertical paddle gives you more forward momentum. Horizontal paddle and reaching away from your boat all the way to the stern will give you more rotation. If you like the tips that you learned here, you can visit our website, paddlercoop.ca. You can also book a course with us. We teach lots of people how to whitewater canoe and kayak from the beginner level through to the expert level. Thanks for watching. Submit your comments. Hit subscribe if you'd like, and we'll see you soon.